we've had, had some time to think about that over the uh, over the weekend, and um, we think it would be better for the council to set um, specifications for the three-year period as, uh, as originally planned. Um, as low as these um, numbers are, um, it does in some way provide a little more uh, ability to, to, uh, to plan for the industry to plan over a two-year period rather than just a one-year period. And, and frankly, I don't think anybody wants to go through this again um, uh, in the fall of uh, next year. So um, I, I hope the council will reconsider, um, give a different consideration to those motions and go with the, with the three-year specifications. Um, uh, with regards to the um, changes to the Southern New England uh, Winter Flounder um, program, we, we welcome that. We, uh, we think that that um, catch level is, is a, a good number to be allocated to the fishery. It will provide some additional revenue to uh, those vessels that fish in the, that area that will be using uh, revenue from other uh, species that are caught in that area. So, um, you to um, go forward with that and to allocate that. Um, and finally, there's one other um, item that is um, not in this framework that um, I hope you will give consideration to. You may recall at the November meeting, I raised the issue of the Southern New England uh, yellowtail allocation to the Seattle fleet and the fact that we don't have a mechanism to return unused um, yellowtail to the um, brownfish fleet. In season. I'm hoping that you can just take the language from the mechanism for George's Bank and cut and paste and put it in this uh, framework, and uh, we can, um, the, the ground fish fleet, I mean, that's a significant allocation. I believe it's 32% that is being given to the scholar fleet, and if they don't, that's a high number, I think, compared to what they've caught. So uh, we would like to see that come back to the ground fish fleet um, mid season if possible. 